Welcome to another episode of Risk. Today I'm playing from people from Discord. This is a play friends game and it looks like I have the most of troops in North America. So I think that will be the continent I will go for. The pink player has just sent me alliance requests and let's accept it. But first of all I want to make my move. Do not waste anyone's time and I will just capture a territory over here I assume. The black player wants to be my ally as well. Let's do the same with him. And let's fortify my army out of here, I assume. Since the black player will probably go for Europe. Well, I actually know he has a lot of troops in South America. And what I see in the chat is that he is going to go for South America and Africa. This is what he says. And either the blue or the pink player will probably go for Australia, I assume. And alright, all of us are allies. Well, at least I'm allied with everyone. Not sure how about everyone else. But maybe we send the alliances to each other as well, as I mean. It's a high rank player game, so we probably understand. Well, actually, let's check out the ranks. The blue player is a grandmaster rank player. The black player is a grandmaster rank player as well. And will it be the same with the pink player? And no, the pink player is an expert, but let's not underestimate the pink player. All of those people are from Discord, so I assume we should play extremely well. Let's capture a territory over here, and I assume I will fortify my troops from the black player's way. I mean, I will let him move his troops from North America to Europe. The black player has just offered me to move his troops out from North America in the chat, and I really gladly agree to that. Let's send him a heart. That's really much appreciated. That's a really nice, strong alliance move. And should I immediately capture the blue player's five troops in North America, or should I let him move out also? Well, let's actually ask him. I tell him what I need to attack his territory and thumbs up or thumbs down. Thumbs up or thumbs down. I need I need to attack this territory. Alright, let's attack this territory. Well, actually, I didn't see. Yes or no? Alright, he, he says thumbs up. He says thumbs down, so I'm not going to attack this territory over here and rather will fortify my troops like here. So yeah, I'm letting him move out. And yes, that is really appreciated by the blue player. Let's send him a hot. So from what it looks like, it will be the pink player who gets eliminated from the game first. Using by the position on the other hand, we have the same number amount of troops and I'm not necessarily going to hold North America, but I mean, the black and blue players have moved their troops out from it. So I do not really think they're going to invade me. The pink player is obviously going for Europe, but the question is whether the blue player actually moves his troops out or whether he will just leave them here. And myself, the most obvious turn which makes the most sense to do is to just capture North America, guys. And let's actually properly guard all of the borders. I believe the same number of troops, so my intentions wouldn't be really clear of what I want to do. And I mean, I didn't really have too good of a plan in general, in overall right now, but probably it will make more sense for us to eliminate the pink player, put him up on the pink player and eliminate him. I assume this is what will be our biggest plan right here, our mastermind plan. Assuming we want to get into the three player situation as soon as possible. I mean, I'm not sure what are the intentions of the other players, but myself I usually prefer to end up in the three player situations as soon as possible, guys. Let's see if the pink player is capturing Europe. And yes, he did that, leaving a big army of troops next to my border. Should I trade an asset or I shouldn't, guys? Well, obviously I should assume, otherwise, otherwise I could potentially get wiped out if somebody, if all of, of my opponents team up on me, so I think I will play like this. Attack the pink player, okay. I will attack the pink player, I will risk doing that for the blue player's sake. I will play like this, so I want to get to the three player situation as soon as possible. GG, GG, the pink player says. I mean, the same thing could have happened for me if I didn't trade an asset and other players team up on me, so yeah. The blue player looks like a really good ally. I mean, he wants to progress the game and eliminate of other players as soon as possible. Why feed me LOL, the pink player says. Well, I want to just get to the three players situation as soon as possible. Nothing personal, pink. Nothing personal. Right, the blue player sent them up. How it is going to look right now? Yeah. Blue player would like me to attack black, but let's send him thumbs up, I guess. But how it's actually going to work, I'm not sure, I mean, I'm not sure how that is going to go, guys. 
I mean, kind of, I do not really want to start with conflict first, but I mean, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, the black player says, to, sorry, I need to attack your territory, well. Well, the situation solves itself, so unless the black player... No, I thought that maybe the blue player potentially told to the black player to attack me as well, so to see if any of us attack, so he will be able to team up with that person, but... It isn't really looking like the case this time. Luckily, I have a set at record, so I can recapture North America and invade the black player into South America, guys. Yeah, let's send thumbs up to the blue player. I mean, that's really good that I didn't really have to betray the black player himself and what he just did that by himself. I mean, I won't even guard this border, as I mean, I do not really want what my troops will be wasted. But the black player invading it will crush a bunch of my troops. So, I mean, the blue player could potentially protect that border somehow if he went it, but I mean, he cannot really do that, I assume. Yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up to the blue player. This is fine, this is fine, the black player emotes. Let's see what the black player does, I'm really looking forward to find out. I mean, he started the conflict with both of us himself, so... Not sure. Does he have priority in attacking towards one of us, towards attacking either me or the black player? But no, he doesn't really want to attack any of us. Yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up to the blue player. The blue player is actually stronger than me. He's going to receive a bigger amount. He's going to receive a bunch of troops in his turn, and, and he's even at five cards. So this turn, I cannot really do much anything. I can't really do much. Otherwise, I could potentially risk of giving the game away to the black player, I mean to the blue player, as he's really actually getting strong, and the balance of the game, the balance of the game could be really ruined if I overdo, alright, he's doing some mana rolls over here, let's see how, uh, how we go for him, but I mean, either way, I won't be able to take out the black player, if I do that, then I give away the game to the blue player, I cannot really take the black player, and especially when he has zero cards. Let's see what the black player does himself. Maybe he will do some damage to the blue player. Thumbs up to the blue player and... Alright, I really like what he is attacking the blue player a lot. But will he invade me as well? No. No, guys. And I think this is my priority to shine. Has the balance of the game has just been run? Or it wasn't, guys. Should I go for that risk or no, guys? I think, yeah, if I eliminate... If I eliminate... The bl blue player when I win the game. Well, let's actually play out like this, let's see. And bam. Ah, what a bad blitz roll. But. Well, I mean, at least I will equalize situation on the board, I guess. At least that might be the case. It was worth the try, I would say. I mean, I could have gotten a good blitz roll, but the one which I get was really terrible. Really terrible, guys. So now the game could go either way. Or I mean, should I have just taken the black player out? I mean, maybe that will be the safest decision. I, I might have just misplayed. Maybe I just really misplayed, guys. And is the black player feeding... Feeding me to the blue player? Or what's the case? I'm not sure, but I will just attack one territory over here. And that will be it, guys. That will be it. Yeah, thumbs up attack. <laughs> yeah, and he's going to attack me. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's tell the black player to attack blue. Alright, the blue player sends them up, but I mean, he attacked me. Well, just one territory, so it doesn't really matter, but he didn't attack blue. I mean, he didn't, I mean, he didn't attack black. Yeah, let's send them up to the black player, whatever he wants to do over here. Yeah, thumbs up, I just want to capture a territory over here, and that will be it. Let's see, what are we going to do? Wow! Wow, alright, I really like. Let's tell the black player to attack blue. I mean, could, we, could, I give, could I get another chance? Could I give another chance if, if the black player overdoes that? Well, he has a set, he has a set, guys, but I mean, it could even turn out into my favor if he really at over attacks. The blue player, but no, he doesn't, no, he doesn't, man. Yeah, thumbs up. Well, he doesn't let me held the bonus. So let's trade in a set and let's see what I could do. All right, he's sorry, but he needs to attack. Yeah, I will just... Tell the blue player to attack black, I mean, that's my play. The black player hasn't been friendly to me, he didn't even let me hold North America while captured Asia, so... I do not really have a good reason to let him hold Asia then. But let's see what the blue player does. He doesn't do too much well, I should be really careful because the blue player is getting quite strong, I mean, he's getting quite strong, maybe. 
I should be really careful when it comes to that. Let's see what the black player does. Yes, he invades. He invades the blue player. I will just capture one troop territory over here, I guess. And that will be it. Let's see what we black. Let's see what we blue player layer does. Maybe he does a bunch of damage to the black player and really overdoes that. So let's tell him to attack black. Let's tell him to attack black and let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. And maybe he will just attack one troop territory. In that case, it won't be too much of a damage. But I mean, but I mean, I'm not sure what I mean. The situation is really balanced out right now. So I'm not sure how that is going to turn out, guys. The black player is thinking, thinking what is he want to do, what does he want to do guys. The situation doesn't really look too much promising to black player, since right now I am and the blue player some much stronger allies and the black player kind of has been left without any allies at all guys. The black player's army looks scary over here so I think I will strengthen this border over here and I will attack the black player's territories like the blue player I assume wanted and will end my turn over here. Well, the blue player suddenly is attacking my armor right now, but on the other hand, he doesn't lead me into North America. Well, let's actually, let's actually tell the black player to attack the blue, blue player as the blue player is now attacking me. Well, actually the black player told in the chat blue, if you don't hit red, I suicide. So maybe that's why, maybe that's why the blue player has just attacked me, but alright. I think the black player a little bit over is overdoing that, but maybe not necessarily, I don't know. Let's see where he is going to fortify his army to, and alright. I will just break the blue player into South America then, and let's see how things turn out this week. Let's see what the blue player does right now. Maybe he takes Australia from the black player, but no he doesn't. He just fortified his army over here. He sends thumbs up and thumbs now down so I don't really understand his message right now. Is he asking me something or what's the case? As he just sent both of them thumbs up and then shortly after thumbs down. Uh, well it looks like the black player is strongly on me, but so maybe I should force the blue player to attack him, but we are going to see, we are going to see guys. How many troops I should crush into him? Maybe I will crush them. And let's see what the blue player is going to do right now. Let's see if he invades, no he's still weakening me. I mean alright I'm so, but I mean, I mean I'm not sure did, what did he want to say over here. So I mean he didn't send me an attack request to attack black or what's the case, but alright. Yes, he breaks the black player into Asia. Yes, thumbs up. Yes, thumbs up. The black player trades an asset and let's see what he's going to do himself. I mean, he's looking kinda strong. Will he intend to recapture Asia again or what is his plan? What is his plan, guys? Yeah, it looks like he's going after Asia. I think I have to trade an asset over here. Yeah, the blue player wants me to attack black, so yeah. The black player is getting ridiculously strong, so this is what I am going to do, guys. Hopefully the blue player follows and does the same. Please attack black. I mean, I traded an asset because otherwise I think the black player really in will have really intended taking me out, and I mean, he was probably even considering doing that last turn, so... It's just to be really safe, but right now looking to the troops counter, the blue player is the strongest, but let's see what the black player is going to do himself. If blue player is crying, the black player took a while to add his troop and let's see, does he fortify his army next to... Yes, yes, blue player wants me to still attack black and let's just, let's just play like that. I'll just capture South America and see how that goes. What I want is what the black player will more seriously attack the blue player. That will be my plan, but it looks like the blue player is crushing just my territory, so that was really weird that he was just saying me thumbs up, and right now he's just attacking my troops. But maybe that will work out well in the alliance of a black player. I mean, it doesn't really look like the black player would like to be my ally. It looks like it mostly the blue player. Well, now I will be targeting the blue player, so to force him to attack the black player, I guess. Or so. Well, let's just play like that guys and fortify my army right here. Let's see what the blue player still does. Well he's still going after my territories. Maybe he wants to feed me to the black player or what's the case? What's the case guys? Well I have a 6 troop set and I think I will just trade it in as soon as possible. I think at this moment the black player could just 
even take me out, I assume. As I mean, I'm even at four cards, but alright. Well, let's see, he still has enough troops, but I don't understand why he just added his troops in a blocked place. Doesn't make too much sense to me, but alright. <laughs> Blue player just wants me to attack black, well, attack yourself, I'm just weak, I mean. I'm at 17 troops and you at 44 looking to the troops counter, so... Not up to me, not up to me. And yeah, let's see what I right. I will just play like this, we'll just fortify my army over here. I will just let them deal with each other right now, I mean, I'm the weakest player and we're both really strong. And none of them really shows too, too much of a strong intention to team up on me, so let's see. Let's see how that is going to play out right now. Alright, at least the black player has finally got invaded into North America. Right now, while I'm at 20 troops, I cannot really get cuts, otherwise, if I get like at 4 or even, I'm not sure how many cuts, then I will be really worried to be taken out for the cuts, but if the black player does it right now, then he will just really give away the game to the blue player. So let's see how that is going to turn out, guys. I mean, I'm not sure what I shall do to get the trust of a black player to make him team up on the blue player instead. But yeah, we're just going to see how that works out. I mean, the most miserable situation right now. Let's tell the black player to attack the blue player, and I think maybe this is my best chance. I don't know. Well, alright, I was trapped like that, and that is a really fun situation for sure. Probably will be a good pick for the thumbnail, guys. I mean, I'm at one card, so it doesn't really work to eliminate me. Well, alright, he says good game, so. Well, let's see how the end game goes. Looks like the blue player is in the advantage. So unless the black player gets a really good blitz roll over here, or mal rolls. I mean, the blue player has the same number of troops as the black player, and even has four cards, so. I would say that was a really misplay for the black player to take me out, but... We are going just to see how that turns out, guys. And blitz, blitz the blue player's army, otherwise he will get the advantage, but no. Yeah, I think the blue player wins the game right now. Well, he doesn't even have a set, but I think it doesn't really matter. At the end, it doesn't really matter. I think... I think the blue player wins this endgame right now very easily, but what a bad blitz roll. He failed to capturing Africa. But yeah, if the black player doesn't have a set right now, then the winning chances for the blue player is clear. But even if he does, then the blue player will trade in a set at 5 cards anyway, so the blue player wins the game. GG, GG. So yeah, the black player surrenders and the blue player wins this game. Thank you guys for watching and I hope what the game was entertaining.